Hey guys, it's Shayna and today I am going to show you how I install some hair extensions. 2016 is my year of no heat on my actual hair. 2015 I got super bored and started like straightening my hair and putting a lot of heat and stuff in my hair. Yeah, resulted in me cutting about four inches of hair off because it was completely heat damaged and it just yeah so 2016 is my year of healthy hair and i think for this year i am going to be doing a lot more protective styling so you will see that a little bit more and you'll probably see me do a lot more wigs and hair extensions and i know a lot of people feel some type of way about that sorry but it's my hair ultimately and to be perfectly honest if I don't use wigs or hair extensions I am very like I get very scissor happy and I am very likely to just cut my hair off so you know that's that's just me personally that's my alternative you can like it love it leave it alone whatever you decide to do so let's go ahead and get into this I am going to be using the Irresistible Me hair extensions and Irresistible Me is actually one of my favorite brands right now. I've reviewed their wigs, their styling tool, their straighteners like Irresistible Me is where it's at. Let's go ahead and we're going to unbox this baby. We're going to work with the hair extensions. It comes in a package like this. On the reverse side you have your instructions read this first it's very important you want to open this side first because this is like your little tester this is going to let you know like if this is the right size that you want if this is the right color for your hair all that all that jazz if you break the seal on this it's basically like it's yours like you're you're not going to be able to return it they sent extra clips so that you can if you need to add a few extra you can Okay, so I'm trying to pull the net off of it, and girl, they got this thing on here good. The hair is super, super soft. Very silky. But yeah, it does actually have the clips on it. And I know y'all are looking at this like, girl, that does not match your hair texture. It sure doesn't. But it does match the color. Now that we've tested that and confirmed that this is actually a match to my hair color, I am actually going to go ahead and prep my hair for the install. This is basically how I put my hair when after I wash it and condition it, all that jazz, I let it dry like this. Alright guys, so this is how I braid my hair down. It looks super crazy right now. This is going to be my leave out um, and this is where the hair is going to go. So I'm going to give you a 360 view of it so you can see. Oh, this chair doesn't turn. we got that out of the way let's go ahead and continue unboxing the hair wet. I can't get it off this doesn't go anywhere there it goes this officially means that they're mine you have this giant bundle of hair and again it is sealed in the hair net girl this hair net is on here like magic can I get a abracadabra to get this thing off? I actually like the way they put the these in the hair nets. It's very compact for your convenience. So we're gonna go ahead and slide the rubber band off. So this set came with two one clip pieces, five two clip pieces. It came with two three clip pieces, including the one that came as the tester. And it has what is called the signature weft. And this is basically four tracks on a net with four clips. This piece is available for purchase individually. Links will be in the description bar. So I braided all of my ends over to the side. So I'm going to take the signature weft and I'm going to stick this right over the braid and then clip it into place. So that's the first one and you can see like already it looks awesome. Tell me you don't. Go ahead and lie. Go ahead and tell that lie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Boom. Boom. 
yes ma'am okay so I kind of changed my mind with this signature west piece if you straighten your hair you can probably just like throw this in the middle of your hair and it'll add length and volume and all that type of stuff to your hair what I'm gonna do is actually use this at the top of my head around the crown area so that it can get kind of that like closure going on hold on a second okay. so this is what it looks like with all of the pieces in my hair and to be honest i really really like it so um yeah i do like it Ooh girl now that i have kind of tried the hair out i definitely need to wash my natural hair is not the same texture as these pieces so it's really important for me to always wash the hair simply to get clean it and it also helps to add a lot more texture and volume to the hair when you wash it one of the things i did notice while washing this hair is that it shed a lot but once I finished washing and conditioning and I blow dried the hair on the highest setting, medium heat, the hair is perfectly fine. It doesn't really shed at all anymore. The water got really black, but I think that was just from the hair dye. And you always want to wash the hair because you never know how that hair dye can interact with your skin and be an irritant. And I use the Irresistible Me Shampoo and Conditioner. And then um, I'll go ahead and rinse it until the water is clear. And then I'll blow dry it with a paddle brush just to give the hair more texture and volume. It is the next day and I'm going to show you where I place each piece. This is going to vary from person to person. Um, but this is the method that I found that worked the best with covering the braids and covering my head. So I started right above where... I pulled my braids over to the side and I put in the three clip weft. Then I applied the second three clip weft and I you just want to make sure that it goes from end to end. Um, at first I didn't think it was going to reach but it actually does. It was just the braids were kind of thick. Now I'm going to move over to the side of my head and install the two clip wefts on either side. And all I'm doing is pushing the clips down into the braids and snapping them shut. Now I'm applying the signature web right below the crown of my head. Since that's the biggest piece, I decided to use that one to make sure that the back of my head is completely covered. What I noticed with that, if you're going to use it that high up, you definitely want to put the ends in first and then clip in the middle two clips because it can cause a little bit of bulging. Next, I'm going to cover up around my temples with those one clip pieces on either side. And then I'm going to cover my crown with the remaining three two clip pieces. That last one in the center was giving me some trouble just because I couldn't see what I was doing. And now I'm going to take down my leave out. What I would suggest is to only leave out about a half an inch. Of course, the less hair you leave out, the less you have to blend. So now I'm going to go ahead and hook up them edges, girl. Because, you know, you can't walk around with straight hair and raggedy edges. I did end up using my Irresistible Me straightening iron for my leave out. I know I said I wasn't going to use any heat, but I did decide to go ahead and flat iron that. What I would suggest is to roller set it. For some reason, I don't have rollers, but I would suggest to roller set that if you can. And this is how it looks. And I think that's going to be it for today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more hair videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, seriously, what are you waiting for? Like, come on. Come on. Share this video with a friend so that they can partake in the hair extension and the Irresistible Me coupon that is available in the description bar. And I believe that is going to be it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.